How are you settling in, Rumi? Ethel, what are you doing here? Sister Woodhouse thought that you might benefit from having a roommate who's familiar with the system around here. What a nightmare. Fun. Uh, did you just come from art class? Oh, no, that's my warrior board. It's like a visual collection of my destiny. It also helps me manifest my goals. If I didn't already have an escape plan, I'd really start going crazy in here. As soon as I have what I need, I'll find the door marked X in the basement that Veronica used when they broke Cheryl out. Isn't the king marvelous? Ever since I came here, I've been having the most wonderful conversations with him. Wait, what are you saying? That you've actually been talking to the Gargoyle King in person? Yes, <laughs> we've become very close. Really? Do you think you could introduce us? No, that's Sister Woodhouse's job. What is? The sisters take patients into the Gargoyle King's chamber when they misbehave. The other girls are scared of him, but I'm not. Wh where's his chamber? I can't tell you. That's Sister Woodhouse's job. Hmm. You'd tell Jughead? <laughs> About Jughead? I wasn't going to mention this, but since you brought him up... Betty... I don't think Jughead's into you anymore. We connected when we played the game together and things got pretty hot and heavy in the bunker. This psycho bitch. Oh, he definitely told me about how you blackmailed him into kissing you. I knew you would do this. You have always acted like you're better than me. You and all your shallow friends. What are you talking about? This isn't Riverdale High. The rules are different here. I'm the queen bee, not you, Betty Cooper. And if you want to get better, you have to change your attitude. And you have to be honest with yourself and with others. You can start what you threw in the trash. Ethel, I'm sorry. I want to be your friend, if you'll have me. Can you just not tell anyone about the candy? You just keep it between us, please. Rumi. Okay, Betty. I'll keep it our little secret. But you really should take the candy. It's super delicious. Be careful. Hey, Betty, come play with us. Uh, no thanks, Ethel. Betty, you said we were friends. And friends play together. This isn't how I imagined myself getting to those medical files, but since only the infirm go to the infirmary. You want to be real friends, Ethel? Hmm. That's weird, because real friends don't kiss each other's boyfriends. That's because the Gargoyle King wants Jughead and me to be together. Oh, yeah? We're going to be a ship. <laughs> oh. Ethelhead? In your dreams. <laughs> you're just jealous. You're jealous that Jughead and I are worthy and you're not. But mm. here's the thing, Betty. Okay, you're never going to be worthy. And the Gargoyle King, you're never going to meet him. There we go. Mr. Woodhouse, help. She's having a seizure. Ethel, get the nurse. Yes, Ethel, get the nurse. And God willing, she'll take me exactly where I need to go. There, there, Elizabeth. Uh, You're going to be all right. We'll get you to the infirmary. Uh,